Hey, what's up guys? Patrick here. And today I'm gonna be going over my overall net value for my account, which includes what I'm holding in my inventory and how I plan on flipping them for profit in the future. I expect my chase to make millions of gold in the future, so feel free to follow along. Okay, so I played about 2,700 hours since the launch of the game. I've been slowly reducing the hours that I play per week since August, and I think I'm finally to make the switch to focus mostly on making content instead of grinding the game. This video is sort of a way for me to freeze time and to commemorate how far I've gotten while giving it my all while managing burnout since playing from the beginning of launch in February to October 18th. So this is what my account looks like. And just to know, there was no rushing to endgame for my Lost Ark journey. It took me about 7 days to hit level 50. And I spent about $200 but none of it was to swipe for gold or for any gold exchange. As you can see on my main server, I have about 10 characters which account for 3 clowns, 4 vicus hearts, and 6 photon hearts. The reason why I don't have a full gold journeying roster to its max potential is because there was a moment in time where I had massive burnout after the Voltan release where I stopped playing all but two of my characters. I have two characters on my alt server. I'll make a video later on my progress and my plans with my alt server characters. Do take a look at this video if you are also interested in playing on an alt server. Okay, so gold count. 205,000 from my main server and 40,000 from my alt server, which brings me to a total of 245,000 gold. Not that impressive? Don't worry, just keep on watching the video. Okay, so let's add in the value of legendary engraving books. Grudge, currently 15,000 each. Keen Blunt Weapon, currently 13,000 each. Raid Captain, currently 8,000 each. Robust Spirit, currently 3.5,000 each. In total net value of my legendary engraving books, 790,000 gold in total. Since this is non-liquid, I will break out my net asset value of my account into liquid and illiquid. Okay, so gems. I'm only going to be counting level 7 gems or higher because level 6 don't really make that much of a difference in my opinion and I don't have too much of them regardless. So I have 2 level 9 gems, 8 level 8 gems, and 16 level 7 gems. Marking each gem against the current market value will bring me to 1,244,400 gold in total. This brings me to 2.3 million non-liquid net asset value and 1.5 million liquid net asset value. Okay, things that I am holding to flip. So I am currently holding 356 Great Honor Leap Zones, 205 Solar Grace, 80 Solar Blessings, 45 Solar Protections, and 250 Honor Shard Pouch Large. Marking these against the current market value will bring me to 220,000 gold. Would I advise holding these items? Yes and no. Yes, in the sense that if you are already obtain them in your inventory through natural means, then keep them until the Brozalja release. Otherwise, here are two other traits that I am currently holding that I believe will do even better when the Brozalja patch release comes out. Okay, so here it is. Guardian Stones. I have a total of 5.5 million Guardian Stones, and if you were to divide that by 10 to make that unit equivalent, then I have about 545,000 Guardian Stone units valued at 1 gold, which will bring me to 545 thousand gold. I also have about 60,000 destruction stones. If you were to bring that into units valued at 8 gold each, then I have about 48,000 gold in destruction stones. My plan is to sell all of these stones during the first week of the Bro Sasha release and I'll make a more in-depth video later on how I plan on selling these and my expectation on the gold profit, but I do expect to make millions of gold off of this trade. Okay, next gold generating opportunity that you can take advantage of is the Oreja Fusion Material. So I have simple Oreja Fusion Material, about 7.3 thousand in my main server and about 2.9 thousand in my alt server. For basic Oreja Fusion Material, I have about 12.5 thousand on my main server and 4.6 thousand in my alt server. In total, brings me to 27 thousand for both simple and basic. And let's make the math simple for now and value them at 9 gold each, which brings me to 246,000 gold in total. So two things to note. I plan on selling the simple and basic warehouse the first four days of when Reaper is released, once the price starts to get moving. 
Simple and basic oreja is probably my most favorite ways of making gold, but it's also the most complicated to explain for new merchants, so I'll make a more in-depth video on this later as well. I also plan on storing up fish materials to make the new fusion materials once the Prosasha patch release hits, and you can take this trade instead if you don't think that the Guardian Stones will move. Or you can do both, like me. Okay, so I just want to briefly go over all the secret maps that I've been holding and not been doing, and about 23,000 breath pieces that have not exchanged. I also have about 8,000 Unus token in total that I have not exchanged yet. In total, I have 3.3 million non-liquid net asset value and 2.5 million liquid net asset value. A max generating gold roster would make about 60 to 100k depending on who you ask. It would take about 10 months of playing at full capacity to accomplish this on average. I've only been playing for 9 months and I don't even have a full capacity roster. Voltan and Vicus hasn't even been out for a full 6 months yet, and I didn't even count the honing costs of my characters. Okay Patrick, so did you really not swipe? How the hell did you get this much gold? So it was actually quite the journey. I started writing the script for this part and it was just getting way too long, so I'll release this video at a later time if there is enough interest. So for new or continuing players, don't feel discouraged on trying to catch up. As you can see, I plan on reducing my hours in Lost Ark drastically. And the same goes for most players who have been grinding non-stop since the beginning of the game. People take breaks and come back for new content. I personally didn't think I would be taking a break, but here I am. And even if, you know, people don't take breaks and you can't catch up, don't worry about it. This game is what you make out of it. If you found your way of being happy and having fun while playing the game, then continue doing it and don't worry about anything else. If you aren't happy and want to make more gold, then, you know, check out my other videos since I go over how to make and save tons of gold. So